all been there. I think we've all been there. We don't want to look like the idiot. We don't want to look needy. But I always just say to people that if in the process of communicating your needs, you lose somebody or they think something less of you, you're just filtering out the wrong people anyway. The right person will appreciate the communication. They'll reciprocate the communication and you'll build something. The wrong person will, you know, be scared or run away or whatever it is, but you don't want the wrong person anyway. So it's a good filtering process. Effective communication is great for filtering out the wrong people. It's so interesting because uh, you know, when I was starting to date Martha, my fiance, like just early, the first date, I was just like, I'm gonna share not all of me, but kind of all of me yeah. up front. And no games? Be, yeah, no games, just like, this is who I am, this is my flaws, this is my mistakes, this is the things I'm working on, this is, you know, the things I'm good at, all these things. Uh -huh. And I, and I kind of was completely unattached to the result. Yeah. Like, if she likes me, cool. If she doesn't like me, at least she knows who I am. Yeah. And it was freeing. It, it felt freeing to be like, okay, this is me. I'm not playing any games. I was just like, if you like me, cool. If you don't like me, cool. Yeah. And and that that gave me freedom to be myself. And I think it allowed me to see, does she really like me for kind of all of me of what I'm you able to show? You weren't trying to impress her. You were trying to access a healthy relationship. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And that's what the goal should be.